there. All right, we're 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 recording. How is everybody? Did you guys all have a good weekend? I think we had a couple more people join us. I'll throw the, the Nearpod link in one more time to the chat. We'll go there. So uh, just so everybody knows, this lesson is being recorded for learning purposes. And uh, while we're doing live class one, just make sure we're following along with the Nearpod lesson. Use the chat tools respectfully and appropriately. Respond to questions and instructions the first time. And uh, I'll go over this in just a second. But just want to make sure you guys are all know where we're at, where we're going, all that kind of fun stuff. So this week, today's the 29th, and we're actually going to get into February. I can't believe that. We're already a month in. And uh, this week is a light week for, for this class. Um, all you have is uh, just three quizzes that you need to do. Last week was quite a bit more, right? So if you haven't got done with the ones last week, um, use your extra time this week to get caught up. Uh, but you should be by the end of the week through quiz uh, 16 there. And where you just find those, we should be, um, we're going to be modules five and six. So we're going to be talking about uh, income and then high, uh, post high school training. So we're going to spend most of our time on post high school training. Um, which I was telling one of you guys to, uh, hey, if you're graduating, start taking college classes. That should be your next class, right? Whether it's the technical college, regular college, all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to talk about is uh, skills and education. And so you'll have uh, those on there. Oh, okay. Yep, that works too. That's a very good life lesson as well. Um, going on a mission. So, cool. All right. Let's talk about uh, the true value of education. And it all has to do with numbers, right? <laughs> In finances. So, the uneducated equals the unemployed. So, what you need to understand is it's really important. And that's what our goal here is at uh, Utah Virtual Academy is for you to get your diploma. So if you get a high school diploma, that's going to be you're going to be less likely to be unemployed when you get out in the work work field and your income goes up. If you do not graduate from high school or get an equivalent, a GED, you're going to have a very low income. Now, these statistics are fairly old, so I'm sure they've just gone up over time. Um, the next is, uh, if you have some college, right, you're going to have a little bit more likelihood, you get some type of degree, right? And I, I'm going to say with the associate's degree, like, you know, a welding certificate, um, or, or anything like that is really going to be, uh, really big for you, for everybody. Okay. Um, if you get a bachelor's degree, even better then your income, of course, increases master's professional degree, doctoral degree, et cetera. So it's really important, um, to get some type of skills, whether it's a degree or a certificate or anything like that. I'm certified to be able to eat. <laughs> um, there you go. Well, I gotta be honest with you probably not going to get anything. A skill that's needed, right, <laughs> is what we need to do, but good one there. Okay, so let's listen to this, and then we'll uh, chat a little bit about it. I'm Emma, and in this section, we're going to be talking about how to recognize and explore the correlation between education, training, and potential lifetime income. Each year, tens of thousands of new college students begin their journey towards higher education in the hopes of landing equally high-paying jobs in the future. It has long been understood that an education can lead to long-term financial success and higher overall earnings over the life of a career. Generally speaking, the more specialized the education, the higher the earnings go. Education is valuable because it has many benefits that can be enjoyed over a lifetime. One benefit is an increase in potential earnings in wages and salaries. 
Demand for the educated or more skilled employee is generally greater than for the uneducated or less skilled employee. So education creates a more valuable and thus higher paid employee. It makes sense to be able to maximize value by becoming educated as soon as possible so that you have as long as possible to benefit from increased income. It even makes sense to invest in education before you sell your labor because your opportunity cost of going to school, in this case, the lost wages of not working, is lowest. Current studies show that a college education has an economic value because a college graduate earns more over a lifetime than a high school graduate. Recent estimates put that difference at about a million dollars. This fact indicates simply earning a four-year college degree can be the key to long-term financial success. For career paths where there is a high demand for skilled workers, higher paying jobs may become available for those who have learned specific skill sets that can relate to specific job requirements. For example, the information technology field is clamoring with software developers. Therefore, those who study and earn certificates in one or more software languages can expect to be offered highly compensated roles within leading companies. Earnings based on specialization. In certain industries, the amount of specialized education is directly proportionate to the amount of earnings that a professional can make. For example, in the healthcare sector, a general practitioner can expect to earn as much as $180,223 per year, while a specialist can earn around $360,000 per year, twice as much. In the engineering field, an entry-level engineer can expect to earn around $62,000 per year while an engineer who goes on to earn additional certification can earn more than $95,000 per year or more. As a rule, the more specialized the training and the more in-demand a skill set is, the higher the potential earnings will be. When planning a career path, it is important to weigh all the factors in determining the best type of education for you. Careful evaluation and planning can help you maximize your earnings potential. Okay, move on. All right. If this will come up. There we go. So tell me, after listening to that, why is it different or is it important to get a college education? Or not just the, it doesn't need to be a college education. It just needs to be, um, you know, some type of skill that's thing. I, I know a lot of, like plumbers and HVAC electricians that make really, really good money. Um, you know, because they have a skill that's needed, right? Okay, so dream job opportunities, you get better pay, you have more chances to get a better paying job for your education training. Um, you can know all that you need to know um, in whatever you do, yeah, to get a million bucks. You're probably going to get, if you have a good paying job in a college education, you probably will have a million bucks after you're done retiring, right? Well, at least you better, or you're not going to retire anytime soon. Um, they see, say you need about to live comfortably, um, actually two to $3 million in the bank for retirement. Okay. So... Yeah, you think it's a lot, but honestly, like if you save and you have compound interest that's working upon that savings and that kind of stuff, um, it will, you know, it, it's you're, you got to make your money work for you. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is going to do some math problems. Do we have any math whizzes in here? Okay, a couple. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we can do this math problem if you want. What I want you to do is take the difference between a high school dropout and an advanced degree and see what they would make over the lifetime of their thing. So I'm going to give you a second. I think some of you guys are doing some math problems. I'll do it too over here. You'll probably get it done quicker than I will. So. Here we go.
Okay, we'll just do with estimates real quick. So let's see how good I am at annotating this. All right, how many years worked did the high school graduate have to work? Do you guys get that? Hopefully I got the right answers, you guys, huh? Fifty-four, good. That yep, that's what I got too. Oh, he can't see that worth baloney. Okay, fifty-four. Still not great, but there we go. All right, and the lifetime earnings, just round to the nearest thing. You should be about, yeah, so about a million dollars, right? So over a million. So you have to work fifty-four years for a million dollars. And the advanced degree, if you got that, you're working how many years? I got 46, but did you guys get 46-ish? Oh, you didn't get that far? Okay. And you're about $3 million over the lifetime that you've earned. Okay. So as you can see, it is very good <laughs> to get the higher education or higher skill right there. Okay, we got one more video we're going to watch and we're going to discuss it and then we'll go to that one. Hi, I'm Cameron. Today we will be examining the costs of post high school education options and analyze the return on investment or ROI. This includes career choices, understanding the cost differences between public and private schools, and differences between nonprofit and for profit education and training. When it comes to higher education, modern students have a number of choices in pursuing certificates and degrees to help them reach their future career goals. While many students choose to enroll in a traditional brick and mortar college or online college degree program, there is also the option of furthering your education through a trade school. So how do you know which option is the right choice for you? While no one can decide for you whether a college or trade school is the best fit for your education, there are several different factors to consider when making your choice. Traditional college. Whether you are a student that just graduated high school or an adult that wants to further their higher education, the first option that most people think of is to pursue a degree in a traditional college or university. There are several options for traditional college education, including community colleges, public universities, or private universities. Once you have enrolled in college, you will typically spend the first half of your college experience taking general education courses. They often include the following, English composition and literature, general science, history, mathematics. These classes set you up for success within a wide range of majors and allow students flexibility over the first year or two of their degree program to make a decision to pursue a specific degree. Typically, it takes anywhere from two to four years to earn an undergraduate degree. After completion of an associate's or bachelor's degree program, students may choose to enter the workforce or continue their education within graduate degree programs. So how do you know if college is the best route to support your future? It depends on your interests, goals, and objectives for attending college. For example, if you know that you are interested in English and communication, but aren't sure whether you want to be a journalist, teacher, or work in public relations, then a traditional college education may work well for you. Once you enroll as an English major, you will have the opportunity to take a variety of courses to gain experience and knowledge before making a decision in the specific career path you want to choose. While most students are familiar with traditional colleges, trade schools can be an excellent option for those who already have a clear idea of the career path they want to pursue. Trade schools differ from traditional colleges in a number of ways, including job-specific education, skill-based learning, cheaper tuition, finishing the program in less time. Once you enroll in a trade school, 
you will immediately start with classes that are based solely on the training needed to help you succeed in your future career. So, how does this affect your education? Simply put, without the background in general education classes, you will be trained only in the career path you are pursuing. While this is excellent news for those who are set on the occupation they want to pursue, it leaves little room for changing your trade school specialization or transferring your education into a different program. If you are interested in a specific career path, there are many different programs available through trade school that can get you started in a well-paying career without a traditional degree. What about the cost of education? With the changing economy and rising tuition prices, the cost of higher education is a major concern for students looking to earn a degree through a college or trade school. Typically, trade schools cost substantially less than traditional colleges, and many students graduate with less debt than those who pursued their education through a college or university. As an example, completing an average bachelor's degree program costs students $127,000. On the flip side, the average cost for a trade school degree is only $33,000, a savings of $94,000. Part of the difference in the cost between the two types of programs is the length of time it takes to complete your education. Most bachelor's degree programs are completed in four years, while the typical trade school gets you out in the workforce in under two years, saving you time, money, and a great deal of student loan debt. Okay, so that really um, just kind of went into the difference between a trade school. That's like your technical colleges, like um, up by me, there's the Ogden Weaver ATC. I know there's a lot of other ones around uh, Bridgerland. I'm trying to think of some other ones. They're all over. Newmont, is that that one too? Yeah, that they're all over the place. Um, and they're state colleges and they give you specific um job training in certain areas so if that's an option for you that's good oh um i'm just going to ask me a couple questions for you guys to think about okay um how does the career you choose affect your income i have what we talked about what employee characteristics are important to an employer and how do education and training affect your salary so I like to think of it, um, getting a degree or a certi certificate is kind of a hoop or a hoop you got to jump through, but it's like, it's opening a door really. Um, I have different certifications that I have that if I did not have them, I could not, for example, teach this class. I could not, um, you know, do other things uh bill certain places that kind of stuff um and just with those it's increased how much i'm able to pay how much i'm able to earn how much i'm able to get and all that kind of stuff so some things to think about when you're looking there so i want to see uh where you guys land it looks like only six of you there are in the near pod but that's we've got a low class today let's see uh where people want to go do you want to are you looking at going to college not going to college or going to a tech school and the tech schools would be so okay so we have a wide variety looks like so far so if if you are putting not going to to a college or a tech school really kind of look at what are some skills that I can provide that I'm going to be able to make money through, right? Because you just need those in today's world. Um, especially, I think they talked about some people in the chat, they were talking about, I'm assuming AI, right? And how that's kind of changing everything. We need people that can be problem solvers and do that because AI is going to take over a lot of some of these jobs that are there right now and so you have to have some type of skill in order to continue to improve and make money and, and that kind of stuff so 
All right, that's all I have for you today. Remember, um, if I go back to the sheet here, we have quizzes 14 through 16. So get those. And thanks, everybody, for, for joining today. Here's my contact information if you have any questions. Okay, thanks so much.